This morning you may be taking a second look at the trees in your yard, wondering if they're ready to handle the next storm. Yeah, after this last couple of days, you can't help that. This week, so many limbs and trees fell because of the high winds, so we asked 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan to find out when do I need to trim a tree? Charlie, how often do I have to do this? Well, Taylor, it varies on the size of the tree, of course, but now that it's daylight outside, I can kind of share that general rule of thumb with you to decide whether your tree needs to be uh, any, any attention, needs to be thinned out. Take a look up at the tree that I'm underneath here. The rule of thumb is when you look up at the tree and the branches, you should see a lot of blue and sky behind those trees. You want to be able to see through the tree limbs. You see, when it's so thick up there, it kind of acts as a big sail and it traps the wind, and that's when the trees fall over, or the branches fall down, and the limbs fall down. That's where you get into all those problems. So, if you are one of the guys looking up your tree this morning saying, gosh, that needs to be thinned out, how do you decide whether to do it yourself or hire a professional? Well, professionals say if it requires getting on a ladder, that's normally a sign that it's time to call the tree trimming service. If it's a smaller tree you can attack from the ground, well, then you can follow the same strategy as the pros. In the arborist world, we get into trees, you see there's cross members, there are two branches that rub against each other. Uh, what we do is we have to decide each time, and there might be hundreds of them in a tree, which one is the better branch and which one isn't. And then, of course, the one that is not as beneficial, it goes. So Corcoran there, who you just heard, to, heard from with Eden Tree Service, he says if you need to hire a professional, call around. Get multiple estimates before you hire one, that way you can get the best deal. Reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.